probably the thing that you're most interested in with your type form is the actual answers that people gave. So when we're in the Analyze tab, we simply come down to the second one here that is Results. View your results or download them. And what you see here is basically a spreadsheet. This is my fake data that me and a couple of other people created. But it gives some answers and some ideas of what things look like. So what I have here are eight different cases of made up beginning names and then email addresses. And then we have birthdays and the cake that people say they want. And if they asked for other, then it would put their answer here. Nobody did. This one right here is a check to indicate that people said yes, that is their favorite one. This is a rating scale on one to five, how much they like that. And then Typeform throws in a few extra columns. There are universal time codes to indicate when they started the survey, when they finished. Now these are going to be really close because most people finished in less than a minute. And then there's a network ID which can be used to identify the actual users. And so you can see, for instance, this one right here and this one are the same. And that's how you get the unique versus total visitors. These three are all from the same machine. Those were all on my laptop. And so that's a way of disentangling who visited and whether it's the same person. Now, a couple of other things that you can do here. First off, you can come up here and you can select dates. Now, everybody did it on this one date, December 12th. But if you want to break it down by time periods, you can do that. Also, you can search for specific people or responses. So I'm going to put here Bart. And that has just this first one. That's with Bart. That's me. And then I can reset the filters, get rid of that by doing this. And you have a couple of other options here. One is this little eyeball thingy. And that allows you to choose the columns that you're going to see. So say, for instance, I don't need people's email addresses. I can unclick that. And now I don't see the email, or maybe I don't need the, uh, the technical stuff at the end. I can delete that. And so now I got a smaller data set. You also have the option of deleting, for instance, incomplete cases. Now, I probably wouldn't do that in type form, I'd probably want to keep the completely raw data. And any modification I would do in another program. Because one of the general rules of reproducible research is keep everything in its completely original format, and then demonstrate what you do after that. But you do have the option of, for instance, deleting cases, you can select them over here and then hit delete. I'm not going to do that. I'll just get rid of them all. But the single most important thing you can do here is this last one right here is download the data. So I'm going to click on that. And it gives you the option of downloading either as an Excel file an XLSX file, or as a CSV file. And while it's often easier to manipulate things in Excel file, everything in the world can read a CSV or comma separated value file, which is a spreadsheet. Either one of those will download the data in a format that's going to allow you to import it into the program of your choice and start getting the actual insights that you wanted out of your data.